Good morning or afternoon. Three questions. First one is from Clarence, who tunes in almost every day. And then I'm going to get to two online ground school questions. And last night, Clarence asked me, hey, if you're going to go for a fun flight on the weekend, just fun flight, a couple hours to go fly for fun, are you going to fly the Enstrom or the Robinson 22, R44, R66? And my answer is pretty easy. For fun flying, I'm going to take the Enstrom. I'm going to show you one big reason why. Just for total fun flying, this has nice big baggage box. So let's say I wanted to go to Indianapolis and stay all night. I can land at the uh, heliport downtown park, grab a couple bags out of the um, compartment, and go hang out downtown Indianapolis. These things are pretty, pretty plush on the inside. And um, with Robinson, there's times if I was going to do rides at a fair on a weekend, I'd use the R44 because it's a four-seater. It's a workhorse, time-tested, proven. I'd fly the R44. If you had a student here who's trying to save every penny and he's literally going the professional pilot route, we would fly the R22. So depending on the type of flying you're doing, depends on the helicopter that might be right for you for what you're doing. So again, with Clarence's question, um, the heavy duty rotor system on this thing, it's a big heavy rotor system, trust me. And it just flies so smooth and the auto rotation is absolutely incredible. And inside, they're just sexy. They're just cool. I mean, look at the interior in this thing. It is nice. So hands down, flying for fun. I'm going to pick the Enstrom, just, just the way it is. Again, depending on what I'm doing. Um, two ground, ground school questions. One member said, hey, I'm getting ready to start. And can I use just your online ground school and not ground school at my flight school when I get there and start flying? The answer is it depends on your flight school. Some schools will be happy if you just walk in. You have all the knowledge. They're going to go, great, let's go fly. You go to another school who has a um, syllabus that they want you to go through, and, and that's what they're requiring you to do, then that's what you'll have to do. You could just use ground school to supplement what you're learning. Um, at minimum, whatever flight school you go to, they're going to have to at least test your knowledge. They can't just do the flying only and then just say, okay, you're good. They're going to at least have to sit down with you. And if your knowledge is great, they're going to still go through your knowledge, test it, ask you questions. And if your knowledge is good, then you're going to move on. So the answer would be, depends on the flight school. You can use it as supplemental training. If you walk in the door with great knowledge, they're going to be happy, but they still have to at least evaluate you. And <laughs> I've been mentioning, I'm sorry, excuse me. I've been mentoring, mentioning this a lot. I'll put a link down below for this gentleman that asked the question. You can see how uh, one of our ground school members did it in three weeks. Walked in the door. They went, oh, my God, your knowledge is crazy, <laughs> crazy good. They signed him off after sitting down and evaluating him. Um, then the other question is from a ground school member who said, hey, I'm getting ready to start my flight training. And he said, eventually I want to get to commercial. Should I do private monthly or should I go ahead and do the commercial monthly? I've been talking about this every day pretty much in the videos. If you're just going for private now, just go through the private. Then you could take a break when you're building your commercial time, come back and get the commercial membership, because it'll shave you like 10 bucks a month. And when you buy the commercial, you still have the private that goes with that, see? So you could do the private pilot membership, pay by the month, get your private. Then if you're gonna go on to commercial, you know, you could even unsubscribe for a little while because that's what a lot of people are doing. They're unsubscribing after the private because you've got to build a bunch of PIC time. You've got to get to 150 hours for the commercial. So you can take a break, unsubscribe, build your flight time. Then when you're ready to start going through the commercial material, log back in as a commercial member. You can review the private and then view the additional commercial stuff. So I think that answers both of the questions uh, really well. Any other questions about that, go down below and put those questions down below in the comment section. We'll answer those in these daily videos. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Kenny Keller, Creator Helicopter Line Ground School. We'll put the link down below. You can take the private commercial instrument or CFI for a 24-hour test drive in the monthly membership or the yearly membership. And then we have a big professional pilot package where you can get everything unlimited, and that has a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as the uh, monthly subscription. So. 
You can go in for 24 hours, check out the training. If it's right for you, go for it. If it's not what you're looking for, uh, just take your credit card information out of settings or go to PayPal and unsubscribe. You'll be billed nothing. So the monthly and yearly has that 24 hour test drive that's uh, really cool and people really enjoy that. So click subscribe, click the bell, put your comments down below and we'll see you in the next video.